you often call us about these, and you know we're always on the hunt for relatively unknown medical technology companies with potentially game-changing new therapies. When you find one of these, the gains can be enormous. Bigger than an index fund, what is the action in Avita Medical? It's an Australian regenerative medicine company with a novel system for treating burns and other types of wounds. They call it spray-on skin cells. Normally, when you get a severe burn, the doctors will take a skin sample from somewhere else in your body then stretch it out over the area that's damaged, but this system isn't super efficient. And it's very painful. Last year, though, the FDA approved a Vita Resell system. They take a little bit of your skin, they spray it on the burn area to get healthy new skin growing. The key here is that their system requires a lot less donor skin to work, and because they're spraying on you, it tends to heal more evenly than the current standard of care, which heals from the outside in more than that in a second. It's an intriguing story. That's why a Vita stock has rallied more than 600% year to date. However, this thing is still pretty new. It came up from the pink sheets and just started trading on the NASDAQ a couple of months ago. And extremely speculative, almost a billion dollars, though. Still, I think it's worth doing some more homework. Let's take a closer look with Dr. Mike Perry. He's the CEO of Avita Medical, symbol RCEL, to learn more about this technology and what it means for the company's future. Dr. Perry, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Great Thanks for coming you. on. All right, so some people think the following has to be too good to be true. Uh, reduced donor skin requirement up to 97.5%, significantly less donor site pain, significantly higher patient satisfaction with donor site appearance, significantly better donor site scarring results, significantly greater incidence of donor site healing, one in two weeks. How is this possible versus the current standard? We're changing the paradigm and really increasing the outcomes for patients. Um, this is possible because of the technology that was invented by the surgeon in Western Australia that started this around the time of the Bali bombings. And uh, has, uh, this was in her laboratory at the time and uh, has really been revolutionary for patients. We just launched in January of this year. Now, the FDA the has approved it. Have yes. they approved it for all sorts of degree burns? Uh, they approved it for second and third degree second burns, Second and third yes. degree burns. Yes. Um, how much quicker is it healing? Um, it's, it's healing approximately the same time. It's the amount of donor skin we're okay. taking okay. so substantially less um, yet we're getting a better course of healing in approximately the same time. Uh, savings to the system? Savings to the system are fantastic. So not only are we increasing the outcomes for patients and really enhancing them, uh, but we are saving money for the healthcare system. For example, um, Maricopa, which is in Arizona, second largest burn center in the United States, they estimated that by using resale consistently, they'll save $28 million a year. Okay, now, I should tell you, and that's a staggering number, but I made some calls uh, in the dermatology field in New York. I was surprised at the lack of awareness of what you offer. So where are you in the educational campaign? In the educational end of things, we are already actually in over 50% of the burn centers in the United States. And for those burn centers that we're not in, you know, it's one of those things where uh, you've, you've got to get your time and get rolling. Uh, but we have our clinical training specialists and our medical affairs team. Um, they're out there. They're working hard. And um, I'm really proud of the progress that they made over this year. Again, remember, we just launched in January this year. And uh, uh, PMDA approval of resale in Japan matters? Oh, it matters a lot. Uh, it's under review right now. PMDA is the Japanese equivalent of the FDA. Mm -hmm. um, they're under review. We're expecting a broad label, um, broad indications, not just burns. Okay. Um, and that will be coming in next well, calendar be year. Perhaps cosmetic? Um, perhaps some element of cosmetics. We're transitioning into cosmetics through vitiligo. Uh, vitiligo is that disease where you get white spots in oh, your yeah. skin where you right. don't have pigmentation. Uh, Michael Jackson's probably the most well known for it. Right. Um, and previously, you, you couldn't repigment yourself. Uh, you with our this. system, we can restore pigment to its original. We will be able to. We can do this in other countries. In the U.S., of course, we need to run our randomized clinical control. Uh, one trials. of the most horrible things that we read about in the papers, and it's just devastating pediatric scalds. Yes. But that's a separate category. And it is. When, how's the FDA feel about your product and that? 
So right now we're not approved in pediatrics, we're approved in adults. We are doing two trials though in pediatrics. They're being funded by the government. So this is non-dilutive capital for us, um, $25 million for the two pediatric trials. And uh, one of them is specifically in pediatric scalds and, you know, child, knocks a uh, boiling pot of water off the stove. Um, this, is, this is really horrible. Treating them early is the key. And we're going to be doing that, and we've already done it in other countries, and we've shown the outcomes, uh, really almost scarless healing. In your uh, documents, you talk about outside in versus inside, and it was confusing to me, unfortunately, never had to have this kind of situation, but obviously outside in the current uh, Current standard of care seems very uh, antediluvian versus what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, so it's really how do burns heal? Right. And um, if you think about it biologically, it makes good sense. There's this free edge effect. So whether you've got a paper cut or you've got a 40% total body surface area burn, it's the edges of the uh, wound that heal from the outside in. What we do by spraying your own skin cells across the entire surface area is we're taking that free edge effect that's usually limited to those free edges. We're spreading it across the surface area of the wound. That's why we can take a very small sample of These a patient's credit skin. Card and credit card. The credit card example, that's really, if I were burned across my entire back from the bottom of my neck to the top of my waist, uh, normally, we'd be looking at taking thighs, taking arms, you know, large donor skin um, samples. Those are extraordinarily painful. And instead of doing that, we, for, for an adult human back like mine, we could take about the size of a credit card, create the spray, and not only cover the back, uh, but have a, a really nice aesthetic outcome with well, it, it as well. It does sound like miraculous uh, work, particularly for people who I know are in tremendous pain and agony. All right, that is Dr. Mike Perry. He's the CEO of Avita Medical. Do some homework, because I said it's speculative, but you heard what the technology does, and they do have the money to take this through, for, through fruition. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.